Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Cricut project. So today I really wanted to make a fun, big Easter themed sign, which for me always means bunnies, carrots, hopping along the, the bunny trail, the whole thing. Um, and so this year's sign centered around this silicone mold that I found for this giant carrot. I did two similar bunny themed signs uh, infusible ink and vinyl in the last couple of years. I have a whole set of SVGs for Easter that go together. So I'm just kind of making the whole set so they can go together. Um, and I thought this carrot would go so cute with this design. So it says Cottontails Grain Co. The carrot's going to go right here. So I've got to do the resin next week and I will link that video down below. You can see the resin project and you can see the full sign completed. Today, we're going to head over to Cricut Design Space where we'll upload our SVG, cut our design files, put them on our sign. If you do not want to make a resin carrot, which I do not understand, but not everyone does. I have included the cut files for a vinyl carrot and we can complete the sign today if you want to cut a vinyl carrot to go with our words. So let's go ahead, open a brand new canvas and get started. Okay y'all, so the first thing we do is open Cricut Design Space. Now I have already uh, prepped this file, but if you're starting from scratch, you will open a blank uh, canvas. From here, you will upload your SVG. Now this white circle is not part of the SVG. This right here is what we're cutting. I just always like to put a, uh, I guess symbol, border, icon, whatever you want to call it, behind my piece of how wide my actual sign is so I can get a good scale of this is going to fit properly on my sign. So for this project, we are cutting out Cotton Tails Grain Co. and a carrot. You can upload all of this right over here. Click upload. Whoop. I clicked it twice. Then upload image, select your image and hit upload. From there, we are actually going to turn off our carrot because I'm going to be adding my resin carrot in its place. If you do not want to add a resin carrot, this is three layers, the back one being the same black as our words, and then a green and an orange. So you can go ahead and cut this carrot out for your sign in place of the resin carrot if you would prefer not to pour a resin carrot. I want a 3D resin carrot, so we are only going to cut out our words, Cottontails Grain Co. I'm going to turn on my machine and I'm cutting this out of Smart Vinyl. So I'll click without mat. Perfect. Click continue. Now I'm going to be using smart vinyl uh, removable. You can use permit. Permanent. You can use permanent. I just happen to have removable on hand. And I'm going to select more pressure because I just find that always cuts the best. And we are all set. We will move over to our Cricut and cut this baby out. All right, so I have my smart vinyl loaded in. I always use my roll holder because I just find it's really easy with these large smart rolls but it's completely optional. And of course you can always use a cutting mat and even a Cricut Explore Air 2 um, or Maker for this project. We're gonna go ahead, load our machine. It's going to measure out how much material we need. And then we'll hit play. We'll hit start. It is a play button. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we're going to slice this. Move our vinyl aside. Dun, 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 dun. My dogs are playing, can you hear them? I can hear them. Now it is time to weed this bad boy. So we'll start by coming in and just weeding all the inside uh, negative areas. Dun, 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 dun. Cotton tails. loops down here. And then out oh, here. Now we're going to be very careful when we get to this loopy font, not to uh, tear anything. everywhere today. Some of these itty bitty little portions here are very, very delicate. So now that we've done the insides, we're just going to go ahead. Weed the outside. And to them all the way across. So I'm going to do that off camera because it's easier for me to get close and then I'll be right back. Ta-da! So now we are going to use some transfer tape to actually put this baby on our sign. So I've cut a piece that will fit over all of our vinyl. We're going to start Picking this up. as much of this top. across the tops of cottontails so that our line here matches up with the top of those letters. It keeps our grid straight. Now we can go down in the middle. Smooth it out. Use our scraping tool and really bond everything. Flip it over. Bond it from the back. Perfect. So now we can start to remove the backing, leaving our transfer tape. I'm just going to get this corner. We're 
go slow. The more of an angle we can get here, usually the better. Just be very careful that all our little loops are bonded. Oop, that I is not down. If we come to part of the letters isn't bonded, I'll go over them and try again. Yep. Just keep going slow, making sure everything's down. If you pull too fast and part isn't down, you can easily rip any of these little portions of the vinyl. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Oh, didn't look down, so let's deal with that. I'm gonna cut this off. Superior cutting skills didn't help. <laughs> All right. There we go. Ooh. Doesn't matter how many times I use transfer tape, it always seems like I'm doing it wrong. Now we'll put this on our sign. Go. This one has handles, so make sure it's straight. My resin piece is my next part of the project. So we're going to just use the carrot mold to keep that uh, kind of proportional. So we know where to lay our piece. So once again, we're going to line it up straight. This can come down a smidge. Be very careful not to stick it to anything until it's in the right spot, including itself. Good. I think that's straight with the top. We're going to go ahead and smooth it out. going to do a light scrape with our scraper. This is a painted background, so we don't need much to start pulling that paint up. And on the other hand, our uh, vinyl will stick to it very easily. It's resting on my carrot. Thank you, carrot. So now we will very gently remove the transfer tape. I don't want to remove any big chunks of paint, so just go slow, be steady. And you do want, if you are painting your sign, to make sure that it has dried for a while. You don't want to paint it like an hour before you put vinyl on it. I painted this yesterday and I let it dry overnight. It's just because something is dry to the touch does not mean it's necessarily cured. I want it to be cured enough to handle the transfer tape or it will remove way more paint. Last dot. Didn't want to stay. There we go. See, we did remove just a smidge of paint, but not enough to make a difference. 
So now we are pretty much finished with our sign until I get that resin carrot done. So I will link the video for the resin carrot down below. If you wanna go check that out, you can watch the entire process. And then at the end of that video, I will place him on my sign and he will be ready to go. If you are not doing a resin carrot, which I do not understand, but some people are not a fan of resin, you would now add your vinyl carrot with your orange and green vinyl to the bottom of this sign. I think this is gonna be so stinking cute for Easter, for spring. I can't wait to hang this up. So I hope you liked this project. If you did, I will see you in the next video. I am doing a really fun one for spring with bumblebees and vinyl. So make sure you're subscribed so you check that out. See you then. Bye y'all.